Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the trailer that dropped recently for the upcoming Flash movie. Productions had a few problems, mainly due to the actions of its star, Ezra Miller. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go on Google, I don't know, what's Ezra Miller done? Uh, I'm hoping none of his insanity is going to uh, rub off on the film. I'm hoping it's going to be good. We're going to take a look at the trailer. Let's check it out and see what it looks like. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline. Another universe. So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not going to lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. My face. You saw my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. This can't be happening. I completely broke the universe. Sod, we've been waiting for you. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? You're... Say it. You are. Say it. Yeah. I'm Batman. If I can't undo what I did... If I can't get back... There might not be a future. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna want to see this. <sighs> All right. Oh, well, that looked pretty awesome. Um, so we got an idea of the storyline there. Uh, Flash tries to change the past and he screws up the timeline and there's no superheroes anymore and he's got to get people to help him put it back. We got two Batmans, we got Ben Affleck and we got Michael Keaton. Um, we've got a kind of Superman, which turns out to be a Supergirl. And we've got a uh, Flash, we've got two Flashes. Um, so the two Flashes, two versions of Ezra Miller, I could have done without that, to be honest. I could have done without two Ezra Millers. Um, they could have got someone else to play the other. We've got two different people playing Batman, we could have had two different people playing the flash i i don't know um oh we had the flash ring in there that was really cool where it opens up and it's got its costume in it and um what did look weird was there's a bit when he's gone back and he's looking at the younger version of himself and his family and you've got the kid version of barry allen and the kid runs outside the kid looks really weird when he's running you know, I'm not having a go at him, but he doesn't look like someone who's going to end up being the Flash. He looks like a bit awkward. Maybe that was the idea. I don't know. Um, I've never been particularly into Ezra Miller as Barry Allen. He just doesn't feel like Barry Allen to me. Um, he's fine in everything else. But but anyway, so we get two versions of the Flash, two Ezra Millers with different hairstyles and personalities. Uh, we've got the two 
Batmans. We looks like we start out with Ben Affleck, and then maybe when he screws up the timeline, that version of Batman's gone. Because it looked like the, the Batman on the, the bike was the Affleck one. Not sure. Um, and then he goes and gets uh, the Michael Keaton Batman. And that the bit where he says, I'm Batman. That was just so cool. That was That's like one of the bits I most remember from the film. Um, I'm Batman. So that looks like it's going to be awesome. Um, and then we've got uh, Supergirl. Who I thought was going to be Superwoman. I thought she's going to be from a timeline where Superman's parents had a girl instead of a boy. And she's like a female version of Clark Kent. But they say, they say not Clark, and she says, my name's Kara. Supergirl's name is Kara Zor-El. So she is um, Supergirl. And she looked, that looked really cool as well. Uh, I was a bit worried about how she was going to look as our replacement Superman. She looks really cool. And it looks like she's got some medical smock or like asylum type outfit on so maybe they've had a kind of in suspended animation or drugged up whatever for years because it looks like at least one of the timelines we've got a version of the Man of Steel story going on there um, so the only problem I've really kind of got with the Supergirl thing is the actress that's playing her I haven't got a problem with the actress but her name apparently is um, Sasha Kelly or Sasha Calley, Sasha Calley, and every time I hear her name, all I can think of is Sasha Calley, fragilistic, expialidocious. Um, I can't stop doing that now every time I hear the name, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it looks like there's loads of action, it looks like there's loads of stuff going on, and stuff from this, that, and the other, and so it looks like we're going to end up with Batman, um, Supergirl, and The Flash. The Flash is, a couple of flashes together. Ah, uh, yeah, that looked awesome. That looked action-packed. Um, so just going on that, I am very much looking forward to that. Um, although I suspect possibly my favourite moment from the entire film is just going to be, I'm Batman. But that is it for this video. Until next time, remember, hit the thumbs up below, and I will see you in the next one.